procedure that's put some people in the hospital. KCTV5's Alice Barr is live at KU Med to explain. Alice? Brad, so we're talking about electronic cigarettes. They look like the real thing, but they actually, rather than burning uh, sort of a smoke, you inhale a vapor. And they are refilled from these little liquids like these that can come in bright colors and flavors like strawberry and bubble gum. And experts here at the University of Kansas Hospital say these are just too attractive to children, and if they're swallowed, it can be very dangerous. <laughs> in a smoke-filled room on Broadway, friends are sharing a hookah. And with a closer look, you'll see a smaller nicotine doser passing around too, an e-cigarette. Do they taste better? I feel like they're better for you because, like, smoking regular cigarettes, you just, like, constantly coughing. You can put different types of juices in them, some have flavor. But those juices, the e-cigarette refills, are causing problems of their own. They each come with a different level of nicotine, and sometimes people don't realize the potency. Some are pretty low, but some can be really high. High enough that in those bottles there's enough to, you know, to kill children, but some are, there's enough to kill adults. Uh, if you were to absorb all of it. It's a problem. Toxicologists like Dr. Thornton have started tracking carefully. The University of Kansas Hospital Poison Control Center took 24 calls of e-cigarette poisoning for the whole state from 2013 through today. 11 of those were children. The Missouri Poison Center has tracked 64 e-cigarette poisonings in that same time. 29 were young children. Kids are winding up with nausea and vomiting after swallowing the refill liquid. Sometimes colored solutions that are flavored, that are in little bottles, that aren't necessarily childproof. And Dr. Thornton says they're not regulated yet by the FDA, so it's not entirely clear what's in them. Leading to some more questions back at Sinbad's Hookah Lounge. I could definitely see how that could make someone sick, because if you refill it too much and it gets on the mouthpiece, like burns your mouth from the nicotine. Though they're not ready to blow them off just yet. And we do know that one person has died in Kansas from actually injecting some of this refilled liquid. Now, we do know that the FDA is considering starting to regulate these things, and that could lead to things like making sure that the bottles are childproof and actually limiting the amount of nicotine that is in these. But certainly, until that happens, just be aware of how powerful these can be and absolutely keep them away from any children. Reporting live tonight from the University of Kansas Hospital, Alice Barr, KCTV 5 News. A lot of unknowns.